Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, depending on where you are watching from. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more updates. I saw a comment attributed to Malami. I think uh, Malami, the uh, Attorney General. Anyway, Nigeria has been uh, the way it is. It's um, If it's by merit, um, certain people will not be occupying certain positions. Anyway, I don't know who it is. Um, I said it's. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, one Malami, um, Abubakar Malami. Okay, he said P2B has no agenda for the uh, for Nigeria's development. His only agenda is to release Namde Kano. And uh, he said his name is Abubakar Malami, S A N San. Okay, he might be the um, Attorney General. Who knows? You know. Um, he went for that. He said, Nigeria is now one of the most peaceful countries in the world. Ever since the leader of um, the indigenous people of Biafra was arrested, he said, no more, nobody dishes out destructive orders against the government again. Everywhere is now calm. Nigerians can now sleep with both eyes closed. Hmm. I wonder who is making Nigerians not to sleep with both eyes closed. Who are those people? We already know. Anyway, he went on. He said, and some people are here clamoring and campaigning for Peter Obi to become the president without knowing that he has no developmental plans and agenda for Nigeria, but only has a hidden agenda to release Namde Kano from prison if elected. And these Nigerians all over the world must resist. Can you imagine? Anyway, he went for that. He said, a vote for Peter Obi is like a vote calling for the release of Nam De Kano, who has destroyed this nation with propaganda. He said, Nigerians are now aware that Peter Obi is on a mission to free Nam De Kano. That is why well-meaning Nigerians are campaigning against his presidential ambition because they now enjoy peace of mind. And IPOB is nowhere to be found again in Nigeria. Who are the well-meaning Nigerians? <laughs> These guys are funny, 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 funny. Hey, should I say funny crooks? He went on, he said, when a man has no vision, he goes about moving from church to church, party to party, state to state, looking for who to deceive. Nigerians cannot be deceived because they now know the hidden agenda of p 2 And that is why they are grateful to President Muhammad Buhari for apprehending Nam the Kano for peace to reign. Um, those calling for his release should channel their strength to of something meaningful. Nigeria need peace, and we will sacrifice everything within our reach to give Nigerians peace. He went on, said Nigeria needs a great leader who will say enough is enough to terrorists, and our party, the APC, is ever ready to give Nigerians a good leader like President Muhammad Buhari to continue to engineer and direct the affairs of this nation. Abu Kamalami, S.A.N. Can you imagine? A good leader like who? <laughs> these people are, these people are, these people are, oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, Sometimes I'll be asking myself, how did we become Nigerians? How? Why must we be linked with people who has no vision? Can you imagine what, um, uh, is it Attorney General? I don't know. S-A-N. You know, on a normal day, some people are not even qualified to be S-A-N. But nowadays, <laughs> um, anyway, just like people who are Supreme Court uh, governors, uh, Supreme Court um, leaders, or uh, uh, um, Justice Minister of the Federation, whatsoever they are. Can you imagine the trash coming out from somebody in a top central position in a country? I can see some elites are bent on uh, continuously holding down uh, the common people of the North. Yes, the North, because the North is the, are the ones facing the more problem. These elites does not care how the common people feel. Once uh, the channel of their milking the nation is intact, uh, they don't care about you. They like to answer danka dede, danka dede. And, you know, they like to be healed and they dash out small tokens to uh, some who gather around them. Whenever they see people who meant well for 
the northerners because the northerners are the ones suffering more they make attempts to stop such people because of what they are getting i believe um uh, this said Mam malami is vying for position in tunibus um, government that is why he wants to continue the promotion of um apc he has lost out He said all of what uh, P2B intends to do is to uh, release Nam de Kano. Well, uh, personally, I want Nam de Kano to be freed, but I am very sure that is not what P2B intends to achieve. Uh, even P2B and IPOB are not agreeing. They have a lot of scores to settle. IPOB alleges P2B did certain wrong to the struggle, the agitation, a particular point in time. And if you listen to Peter B's interview, he um, he he admits um, doing um, you know taking charge. Not really. He admits taking charge. So I don't I don't believe anybody trying to link Peter B and IPOB. I don't see it. It they are two separate ways. They are not in the same way. So, um, like this guy is saying, that Peter B um, will want to frame Nandekano. No, I just believe Peter B's government will respect the rule of law. Uh, not like this uh, present government that cracks down on people um, for even saying their mind, or for people who are not comfortable, people who are crying. They crack down on them. People are crying that, crying that their things are not right for them. Peter B will allow the judiciary work. It will no longer be a house of any justice system uh, like the one we have. So it is silly and also stupid to think all of Peter B's hustle and hard work is just to get there and free Nam de Kano. And by the way, Malami knows that that is not Peter B's intention. But he, Malami, hopes to continue to hold his own people down because Igbo man must succeed whatever you do. He's trying to hold his own people down. I pity his people that he will try to hold down because of his selfish interest. Malami used to see himself as the rightness uh, for Lani to succeed Buhari in office. For him, it's not about equity and fairness, but that they are, made, they are born to rule Nigeria, even though they have misruled the country. He doesn't care about whether they will do well or not, but um, that it is his right. Okay, having been knocked out by superiors, by higher powers in the political terrain, APC, and also having seen the game is changing, he resorts to battling Obi to stop Obi. That is now his intention so that the next government will also employ him. And I'm sorry for people who will employ such kind of people to be um, attorney general of federation. May God help them. He said Nigeria has been more peaceful since the arrest of Nam de Kano. This guy is not sincere to himself. We understand that IPOB has their own problem. Every organization has their own problem. But the major problem of Nigeria remains the Fulani headsmen. Their attempts to suppress other major ethnicities and take over. That accounts for 95% of Nigeria's problem. That is the major cause of insecurity in Nigeria right now. Other, others, um, other problems take the remaining 5%. And by the way, others I meant include those who are fighting back so as not to be erased from their fatherland. Certainly, if you are pushed to the wall or you push something to the wall and it, it has no means of escape, it will come back to you. People are now complaining. What Nam Dekanu is doing is complaining. And everybody has the right, okay, you beat somebody, you don't want the person to cry. So Nandikan is like a voice crying in the wilderness. He predicted most of, most of what is happening. You people are acting it out. He's only alerting his people, but you want him to be silent. You beat up somebody and you don't want the person to cry. You don't want the person to shout. Is that proper? And by the way, Nigerians are seeing the reality. Everyone, every part of this country has tested the trouble associated with killer Fulani headsmen. We all have felt it in one way or the other, and nobody can deceive us. 
Nnam Khan is only alarming us about what is being felt that we are all seeing now. Malami said um, Nigeria needs a great leader who will say enough is enough to terrorists and and our, their party APC is ever ready to give Nigerian good leader like President Buhari to continue to engineer. <laughs> engineer, how's the how's the engineer? I'm no civil call if I'm a... Malami, what has Buhari done regards that? Or is Buhari not a great leader? Is he not an APC member? What has he done? What has he achieved with security for the past eight years? Things remain, things were worse. Well, I don't think Nigerians are ready to gamble with their lives again. Uh, we have learned our lessons. This time around, many people are not voting um, around uh, regional or ethnic lines. Hungry Nigerians are looking for a good leader. Not just hungry Niger Nigerians who, um, who are afraid of their security. They are looking for a good leader to steer the ship of the country. And many are feeling P2B is the best among the rest, among those who have come out. And I understand the, uh, the, the forces battling P2B. All who have looted, Nigerians are, uh, looted Nigeria, the polity and everything are battling P2B. Because their means of um, livelihood will be cut off. Anyway, this is where we stop. I'm, I'm not happy. Uh, viewers, please add your comment. Tell us what you think about um, this particular story. Uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to get our updates anytime it drops. I remain your... <laughs> okay? Bye-bye for now.